Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sisbidia Truna. Welcome back to The Last of Us. Well, last time, uh, Sam and Henry died, and it was really sad. Like, genuinely, that uh, that got to me a bit. I was really upset by that, because uh, I was kind of looking forward to uh, Sam and Ellie hanging out a bit more. They were really, really cute together, but uh, tragically, no. We're not going to be getting any of that. Instead, we've skipped forward. It's autumn. It's a bit on the miserable side. We're in Jackson County, and presumably... We're now getting a bit closer to, uh, yeah, my brother Tommy. Now, I can't remember whether anybody's actually said the word damn out loud yet, but I did notice when I was loading up the game, the game specifically said, hey, this is the hydroelectric dam chapter. So I'm guessing we're looking for a dam, so everyone just be on the lookout for a dam. Also, apparently in the intervening three months, I didn't bother picking up any, like, you know, new ammo. Okay, so... Here's what we've got to do at this point, is we're very low on ammo. We need to actually bother to learn to use the weapons we've got. So, okay, Bo, me and you need to figure out what's about to be, you know, happening in the world. And this bird's gonna help us test it out. So, okay, you get the bow, you draw, and as you draw back, yeah, the kind of, uh, the arc changes. And then, uh, do I need to draw back again, or do I just, no, I just fire. Okay, let's keep that out for the time being and not waste any more because I could really, really do with, you know, not having no ammo. So, Bo, this is a good idea. Presumably silence. Probably should have been using this the whole time. Also, little side area down over here by the looks of it. Oh, yes. What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it <laughs> the last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's going to help us? I suppose we're going to find out. Well? If they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. Alright, so I'm guessing, yes, we had a disagreement how to deal with uh, grief over Sarah. He wanted revenge, maybe I was trying to move on. And yeah, that would explain why I was initially a bit hostile to Ellie. She reminds me of what I was trying to, uh, to leave behind. Was I supposed to come down here, by the way? I really hope I was. Because I thought I was going into a side area. But this increasingly feels like, you know, the main way to go. Oh, but Savage Starlight next hey, to a lovely corpse. Find another one of them comics you've been reading. All right. Okay, we're flipping. Getting there. This is my main objective in this game. Get a full collection of comics for Ellie. Though, sadly, I think I may have already missed one or two. Because I was not looting quite so carefully in the early stages. Right, so we're not crossing the bridge by the looks of it. We're just passing it by and all... Oh, is that a dam coming out of the mist by any chance? Whoa, what's that? Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> I, a hydro move? It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? I don't know, but I'm pretty confident I know how these work, which is turbines. It's really bloody simple. You just feed the water into a system of turbines where the flow of the water forces them to turn. Then once you've got motion, converting that into electricity is presumably simple. But now I think about it, I've no bloody clue how I do it. So, oh, don't, don't flood the valley or open the dam or anything. That's got to be a flipping mistake. Someone might live down that river. Oh, shiv door. Yes, shiv door. I love a shiv door. Shiv doors are great. So, yep, yeah, arrows, good, guns, things, supplies, things, more things. Oh, so much ammunition. Yes, one shiv for that every time. And oh, hang on, missed an explosive. Okay, get my, yeah, bombs up to max. That's good. Smoke bomb two is fine. Don't have alcohol for, yeah, meds. Okay, seriously, watch your health because... Uh, I'm lacking in alcohol right now. Do I want to prioritize? I've still got two shivs. Two shivs with three charges. Yeah, I can't actually do... Oh, I've already got a thing on that. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, go on. Get shivs back up to three. Having spare shivs, never a bad idea. And yeah, go over to bow 
if you can, nine arrows is the limit. Alright, keep on keeping on. Looks like I need to, like, convert this into, like, a thing I can walk over, presumably. We turn that into, like, a platform, and is that, like... Okay, wait, no, no, we are doing that, sorry. But we're also potentially flooding, like, you know, the downstream area. So that's unfortunate. Well, that gets us halfway. If we get the other one up, we'll make it across. She's not wrong, but yeah, how are we supposed to do... How are we supposed to do that? Because the wheel's the other side, but if we've made it to the other side, we've already, like, made it to where we're supposed to go. Still, thank you for drawing my attention to this down here, just in case there's some good... Of course, John. John, 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 John. Pay attention. You can swim. She can't, though. Oh. Probably shouldn't have... Can I close that again? Because I feel like swimming through this water, now I've opened this... Terrible. Nope, can't close that again. Okay, so I'm going for a swim. That's probably a bad idea. Public service announcement. Don't go for a swim right next to, like, you know, dams. That's, that's gotta be bad news. But, uh, we'll see. Is there, like, currents? I found something. Well, I don't seem Take to time. be being dragged into, like, turbines of death, so that's nice. Now, how deep is the, uh, the water here? Okay. It's, it's pretty deep, actually, so be very careful, because, yeah, there's got to be good stuff, but I've got to watch my breath. So, okay, look like there was, like, a, a container over here. So, if I just get over to that, ah, there's definitely a bit of a current, because it's difficult for me to swim against it. Okay, 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 get, get down over here. Get down over here. Figure out what all of this is, because this has got to be this has got to be something important, right? Uh, what's what is all this? I don't know what all of this is for. Yeah, here we go. There's a way into this right over here, but I don't actually see anything grabbable. So in which case, oh, I'm about to drown. Uh, okay. There's a weird thing here. Uh, faster. Faster, Joel. There you go. Good lad. Ah, I see what I'm after. There was a pallet inside that shed. So that shed was the right thing. It was just, uh, yeah. Not what I was looking for in the shed. I was supposed to be looking up, not around. Right, so, this old chestnut. Get on the bloody pallet. I need you to... I know. Step on the fucking pallet. Yep, she's getting bored of it too. Why is it always a pallet? Thank God so many pallets survived the apocalypse. Alright, Ellie, and now we're gonna check whether we can. No, we can't throw her over the dam, tragically. That's a bit of a shame. Now, the thing is, is she gonna be, uh, you know, strong enough to turn that lever? Hopefully she is. Hopefully she's been, you know, doing plenty of uh, upper body exercise over the last three months while she's been travelling with me. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that over here. She's going to get on with that. I'll nip over here to join up with her. Ellie, please don't let me down. And there we go. Job done. All right. Lovely. I will. Oh, she's starting to be worried about my safety. Teamwork. And yep, we're going to give her a really, really can't be bothered high five. Marvelous. Oh, Ellie, I like you. Help bring Joel out of his grumpy, grumpy murder dad shell. I know, I am too. All right, next to like the imposing shooting. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. Okay, so that looks like the right way to go, but I see a down over here. So, uh, hang the flip on. What's, what's that over there? Hang about, hang about, hang about. Need to make sure we've scrounged everything. Yep, I see good stuff. Boom, supplies. Including a... Oh. Okay, that's that's probably a child's grave then. It's too small a grave. I forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just... That's enough. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that feeds into what I was saying before. So I decided I wanted to uh, just move on from Sarah. Tommy couldn't move on, so join the Fireflies to get a bit of uh, get a bit of revenge. So okay, yeah, I feel like I'm on the uh, the.
the right track with uh, me and Tommy here. Right, back to where we were. Just give it a bit of a scout. No sign of trouble as yet. But I'm seeing, yeah, some vague signs of chest high walls up ahead, which is never good. But all right. Uh, should we head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Do we? Are you a hundred percent sure that there's there's no way around? When you say no way around, do you mean like I feel like we could climb this like really easily, like just hop up here, over there, just work work around it. Okay, fine. You know what, Joel? I suspect you enjoy just going through bloody buildings full of monsters and raiders and whatnot. Still, I'll gladly take lots of looting supplies and presumably a map. I have no idea how this helps me, precisely, but okay, yes, that's a dam right there. Though, ooh, okay, there's a, there's a gun here. All right, grab one of them. So, Magnum with a little scope on it, I'm thinking. El Diablo, officially. Right, well, that's bloody useful. Okay, what do we have plenty of ammo for right now? The uh, little sawn-off shotgun or the basic pistol. Basic pistol we've got loads of ammo for. And yeah, we've got no ammo whatsoever for the uh, the full shotgun. So that's fine. Can we actually load that with... Uh, oh, that's... That's one shot then reload. Okay, so that thing hits like a flipping truck. Gotcha. Game, I do not need your hints. I'm just, you know, looking at the new weapon you just gave me. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Was that Tommy on the left? Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> What are you doing, baby brother? God damn. Okay, he hasn't shot me, good. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. It's gonna to happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Well, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. Okay, this has seemed pretty positive so far. I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm gonna trust them uh, yet. False alarm! They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you pet his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. Oh, Apparently Ellie rode horses. Possibly, yeah, the Fireflies had a bunch. You know, if you want, we can take them riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Halzer and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no. You know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Well, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I... I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Get some food in. Joel. 
Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boy some space. Oh, well, he's picking up some of Joel's suspicious nature. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. Which is, you know, not a bad thing. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year, I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Oh, is this something of Sarah's? Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Oh. But am I going to want it? Or have I tried to, to move on? I'm good. Thought so. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tell me, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I'm still a little suspicious there's chest high walls here, but hopefully it's just bands to tax we have to fend off together as best friend brothers. Who, you know, don't agree on things, but don't backstab each other and try and steal each other's Ellie's. Alright? Come on, Tommy. I'm having a, a little but not much faith in you right now. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? And we're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when the plant's up there. Yeah, you still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. You sound like Marlene. All right, are we going to tell him about, yeah, the potential cure? Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. Oh, that's a good boy. Well, good to have around. Oh, yes. Dogs are good for morale. That is very, very true. Can I throw his tennis ball? Tragically, no. Boo. Boo, I say. Oh, is that alcohol? Sorry, I'm going to be grabbing all of your alcohol. Sorry about that. And I think I see more over there too. These two geniuses are gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. To the left. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Slowly. Alright, looks a bit old and rusted to me, to be honest. Alright, that's good. Tommy here. We good to go. Jimmy, one second. Okay, good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. <laughs> God damn. Alright, well done. Nice work, boys. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. You see that? Pretty impressive. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joel. Let's go talk. Okay, I'll be with you in a second. I thought we'd be going back to the control room and there was, like, stuff in there. Just, just give me one second. I'll be right back with you. Here we go. Training manual. Very important. Smoke bombs upgrader. That's some good stuff right over there. And, uh, yeah. Never turn down a work table. Work tables are good bits and pieces. And we're now just missing one more weapon to go. So, okay. El Diablo. Yeah, clip capacity would be great, but that's still a little bit of a way off. Okay, you know what? If it's one shot, then done. Then, you know, reloading faster, that'd be good. And I'm going to be honest, yeah, here we go. Range and draw speed for the uh, for the bow. It is cheap. So go on, let's get that done at the bare minimum. Yeah, that'll do for the time being. We'll try and use the bow a little bit going forward. We'll see how that works for us. 
Right, Tommy, sorry about the delay. Had to, like, you know, nail some things into a bow. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon he's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> he's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. And nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither. But I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. <laughs> you finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They but got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. Oh, we were raiders together, and I'm guessing we did some bad stuff. Bandit! Stop him! Don't let him into the building! Okay, oh, which, which one's the bad one? I'm guessing it's you. Oh, sorry, I sort of missed that. And boop. Okay, I'm going to be using bows and arrows. Appreciate a little bit on the, the backwards side. Please step out of the way. I'm trying to bow. Okay, that'll do the job right there. And ow! Okay, not 100% convinced by this bow, actually. It's a bit on the slow side, and... Good dodge, Mike. Excellent dodge. I'm guessing there's more of them, though. Well, that guy's firing at somebody. Don't know who he's going for, but he's decided somebody's his bloody enemy. Right, get over here. Where's... Where's the guy yet? Oh, I see him over there. And... Oh, this is... Tricky! Whoop! Alright, one arrow in the head. That'll do, but it takes a while to line up the shots. Alright, get over here and... You're a bad person with a spike thing. Just take you down. Okay, go. And I can't see because bloody depth of field. Right, I'll have an arrow, by the way. That's all absolutely fine. You are... Oh, this is good. They're paying attention to exclusively me. So that's good. I'll just... Maybe I should just, like, stay down and out of the way. I feel like if I just basically draw their attention, then at that point, my guys could just kill them. Very easily, actually. Yes, that's... Yes, this is going very well if I just stay out of the way. Though, weirdly, they don't seem to be able to get the kill. The kill seems to be, like, really down to me to get. All right. Get over here. Stay in cover. Grab a plan and... Can you get out of there? Who, who are you? We're gonna come to you. They're here. Oh, we might be about to lose yet another bloody family member. Right. Reload. Grab pipes. Be ready to make this happen. This will be what all that bloody... Ooh. Hello! Right, okay. Yes, we're having a, we're having an axe. Even if it's got less charges on it, I kind of don't care. Also, can I make the axe, like, sharper than it is? And the answer is, uh, yes, I'm going to tie an axe to the back of my axe. Right, move forward, step by step. And I see him at long range, so just prepare rifle and boom! Okay, that should have good armor piercing on it, so that should be... Uh, Pretty good. Uh, these guys are very well armed, to be honest. And okay, how's this thing in terms of uh, accuracy? Actually, the reticle goes down small really fast. Boop. That's got to be a good kill right over there. 
Okay, I think we're down to like one. Just use the pistol. Okay, this is a pretty standard shooting gallery. Nothing too dramatic here. And more coming in. Stay in cover. And they move forward right now. Uh, they might be. How about, no, they're well out of range for throwables. Uh, really don't want to use the bow at this range. Go over to uh, standard pistol and... What does that glint mean? And boom. Oh, now that. That flipping worked. Right, go, go. There's one over, one over there, and I'm pretty sure that means I'm lining up a big, terrifying, particularly nasty shot. I'm at a bad angle for him, though. I can get down. All right, more, more coming in, and you're about to pop up. You've got more pistol. I think the guy at the back is more dangerous. Wait, and you go down. Up. All right. Oh, when you say they're here. I just heard the noise suggesting more is spawning in, but like... Oh, you're not dead yet. And wait for him to do his glint. What, the, what does that glint mean? I've no idea what that glint means, but I've never seen it before, but it's just started happening a lot. Right, move forward. Down and grab ammo. That's revolver ammo. I might want to go over to revolver at some point. All right, keep on keeping on. There's also a down here. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Didn't realise... Where the bloody hell did you come from? I don't know where you came from, mate, but you're you're there now. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Right, more revolver ammo. Yeah, I think we want to go over to revolver. Just give me one second. Need to change out my loadout. Because, yeah, now we got ourselves seven revolver shots. Right, check for ammo. Not much. This is expensive in ammo. Oh, bloody hell. Just, just give me one second to be in cover. Right. Okay, this is this is fine. You're trying to run up the stairs, are you? Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Never mind. Completely missed. Uh, okay, this is... Everything's everything's under control. Aside from the fact it's not. And are you dead? You've got to be pretty dead at that point. One more over there. What's he doing? He's not aiming at me. Headshot. Got him. Okay, we're... We're fine. And there's some ammo down there. Okay, so you can't really avoid using ammo in this section because it's a guaranteed fight section. You can't sneak around this. And uh, that's some rifle ammo. A rifle is... Oh, excuse me. Don't mind me. Boop. Okay, there we go. That's that's fine. How's everything else in? Right, reload. Reload. These guys seem to be immortal, which is really bloody useful. And... Uh, yeah, use up the revolver ammo for now. What else is there? Someone else is there because they're not moving forward. Right, maybe I want to get around the, the side and just try and flank in and get down over here. Go! Where are they? Oh, I see you over there. I see you over there. The depth of field is not cooperating. I see... Oh! Boop! 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 Never mind, out of ammo. Okay, that's, that's all 100% fine. And just wait for him to... He's, he's jiggling. He's doing a jiggle. Get him down. Okay, reload. That's... Wow, that's one hell of a reload. Right, and it looks like... Yep, Ellie and Maria are not dead. You're flipping welcome, baby brother. You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Oh, oh, man. They were coming in from every direction. Then Maria was like, we gotta run. And so we dove over these tables. And this huge guy blasted with a shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, then... hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? What's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? We'll talk about it later. Later. Right. One fuck up. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Fine. Maria. Here we go. You. If anything... Anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. 
It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Where would I go? Joe! Wait, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. Ooh. Okay. I just saw her riding on out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Careful out there. <clears throat> Did she overhear that? There. Yeah. See the tracks? Alright, normal sprint. We'll just follow her. So, uh, I'm guessing she knew what was coming, but does not want to leave Joel. She's got a bit, you know, attached to what's going on right now. Fair enough, I suppose. She couldn't have gotten far. We'll find her. Don't worry. Stubborn kid. She usually pull these stunts. Nothing like this. What's going on? Any chance we could stop and, like, help ourselves to free... I'm not seeing anything glimmery. Let's get straight on to her, then. And this is very nice. I'm enjoying this. It's very pretty all of a sudden now, you know. It's gone a bit sunny. Rain's cleared, all of that. This is lovely out here. All right, more tracks, but we're going a bit, uh... More tracks. Yeah, okay, cross-country at this point. And hang on, were those tracks... Are they going back over... No, that's just a pond. She probably didn't hide in a pond. No, we'll just keep going this way. Lovely. But yeah, she's gone off the road. She's gone a long way. But why? What's she... What's she trying to do? What's her game here? Oh, we got ourselves a car here. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many do you see? Too goddamn many. Right here. All right, well, we got ammo, so that's all right. Oh, you want to toss Molotovs at me, do you? And okay, fair enough. You're charging at me, which is uh, generally bad. I'm going to let you take care of that. If you'd like to use your ammo, that'd be really appreciated. Is he dead? No, you're very bad at, like, killing people. I'm not sure your AI friends even can kill people. They seem to be quite bad at it. So, you trying to go forward and get myself a... I can't... The bow's in the way of the... I can't bloody see. Right, just go over to the rifle. That's absolutely fine. Try and draw the fire. Wait for him to reload. Okay, he's, he's popped down. And... Bump! Okay, feel like someone just set the area on fire. Where's Captain... I see Captain Molotov. He needs to go down, like, now. Can I hit him through the thing? Uh, is he... Is he dead? I don't know if he's dead. He might be dead. Kind of hard to tell. No, he's not dead. No, bloody hell. I hate the Molotov guys. They're so annoying. Right, excuse me. You need to... Yes, that's more flipping like it. Let's just start looping around the outside here. The background just went bananas for a second. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, we're really low on ammo, and I can't really avoid combat in this section. This is just, you know, the combat section. So I'm not really sure. Oh. Um, I feel like you're a bad person. Okay, now that, that's how you bow a bit better. Yes. Uh, okay. There's not a huge amount of cover here. Oh, bloody hell. Everything's fine. Getting to cover. Where's, where's whatever's left? There's one over there. A shot came from, yeah, I see ya. But there's now two people. Who have got a clean shot at me. Better go over to rifle for this. But this is going to clean me out. And I better make the shots count. Uh, ha, ha, ha. If I aim at one, the other one gets me. Try and draw the fire. Boop. Okay, you're moving. So go for this guy over here. Where are you? Boop. Okay, that's a good hit. And number two is... Boop. That's good. Never mind. There was more of them than that. Last arrow. Make it flipping count, John. And I can't... Yep, there we go. Got the arrow off just before. We're in a bit of trouble here. Which I mean like all of the trouble because sometimes there's just bits where you can't stealth it. You've got to be ammoing. And sometimes you don't have the ammo to ammo, Tommy. That better be you. Good, it was. Marvellous. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Where the bloody hell's Ellie? I see ya. And wait, wait, wait. Where are you? And just get yourself and wait for him to pop up. Pop up. No! Okay, luckily, LD Amblo will deal with anyone, pretty much, as long as you actually get the hit. Doesn't even need to be a headshot. Okay, moving forward, but seriously, some of you need to drop some ammo. Um, so much, actually. Okay, barbed wire fence. Can we... I can't hop over that. Am I supposed to be bringing the horses in here? 
Because they're the only things that can jump over that, possibly. Well, there's a bit of ammo at least. Right, that's uh, that's for shorty. Yeah, that's a good point. And there is uh, an arrow. Back to the horses. Yep, thought so. Back to the horses. Uh, no, no, not just yet. I really need to set new weapons because we're going to be involved in a new fight sooner rather than later. Just, just give me one second. One second, please. Need to get the uh, yeah, the short shotgun ready to go. That at least I've got like something for. Have I found any more shotgun shells, by the way? Nothing. Okay, well that's that's a concern. Right, well, on we flip and go. Hopefully not too much more, you know, guaranteed combat without guaranteed ammo. Because if so, uh, we could be in a spot of trouble here. Now, how the bloody hell did Ellie ride a horse for all of this? Without, like, you know, being shot by these guys. Oh, civilization up ahead. A ranch house. Look, by the ranch. That's our horse. She's got to be there. Alright, so what on earth is going on here precisely, yeah? There he looks clear. Yeah, for now. It's not gonna be when we try and get back out again. Type the horse. Let's see what we got going on here. And loot the area thoroughly. We desperately need ammo. All the materials to make like uh bombs and whatever. Because uh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I just desperately need anything I can throw, just in case anything's about to go to hell. Can't go over to the stables, unfortunately. Uh, I've got nothing I can do aside from head into the house, so... Uh, okay, Ellie, me and you need to have a sort of father, sort of daughter chat. Be careful. Right, Ellie! Just be ready. I mean, she can't Ellie! think she can hide. She's got to know. Yeah, she's got to know we'd see the horse. I'll keep it out. Reckon you guys need to have a chat. All right, she said upstairs, so loot the downstairs first. Hopefully, this guy was like, you know, a hobbyist ammo collector. That'd be oh, medallion, firefly pendant. Okay, fair enough. Fireflies here at one point or another, and not one bit of alcohol in this bloody alcohol cabinet. Well, that's just unlikely, Joel. Look harder. Okay, the bare minimum, we found some food in the kitchen, so health's not looking so bad. A little bit of sharp and supplies and whatnot, that's that's good. But honestly, it's it's slim pickings. I'll take another uh, health kit, though. That's only at two, and alcohol's run out, so that really needs to be what we need to uh, find. Okay, now, uh, where's Ellie? I'm gonna guess she's as far away as she can be, so... Oh. Okay, we've got ourselves a comic book for her, at the bare minimum. That's nice. There we go! Now that computer screen, that computer, that's a bit more 2013 right there! Oh no, this is making me suspicious. Bunch of doors that have to be triangled open. Alright, why? Why are the doors triangulable? That's, that makes me suspicious. I mean, it's gonna be the one at the end with the light. So, check the rest of the place first, and... This place has a lot of bathrooms. I swear I've counted like three bathrooms to only three bedrooms, which is... At least that's not too ridiculous. But like, you know, it's a bit flipping decadent. So, all right, Ellie. Me and you need to have a chat. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? Bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time. Tommy knows this area. Oh, fuck than... that. Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. <sighs> Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And you are treading on some 
mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. Of course we're not. I got two walking. There's more inside already. Okay, is there any chance we can stealth this? Oh, Ellie, I'm Looks sorry. Like okay, 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 okay. We need to we need to not turn this into a firefight. I do not have the flipping ammo for it. Okay, we're at a dead end at the minute. You're heading over there, you're heading over there. Yeah, we need to uh we need to stealth this out. Bathroom there, I do know the layout. So that bedroom is a dead end leading into uh, that bathroom. He's over in that direction. And no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. And grab him. Oh flip me. Got lucky on that one. Okay that's fine. That's fine. Bloody hell. And got some ammo. Okay now we're making an ammo profit. Okay. Get over here. Don't know if you can actually see the body of your friend or not. But I've got no throwable. Wait where's he? He was right there. I think they need to be moving for me to hear anything. I think you're, you're facing away, right? And grab him. Grab him. Grab him. You're sort of behind him. Wait for him to go. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Balling heck. Okay, just hit him with the axe. Axe it is. Is he dead? And is anyone else really upset about that? Okay. That's sort of fine. A bit. That's a machete with only three charges. That's not that good. Okay, where's the... Where's the rest? I don't see him. Oh, never mind. Uh, apparently they're uh, they're aware of me because they just set off a bloody smoke bomb. Okay, they want to come upstairs. We hit them with the uh, with the axe. There's one who was right. Bloody hell! I would rather axe these people if I could. Yeah, one's coming upstairs now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, hang. Go out! He was very fast! Darn it! This was. <laughs> that was the worst accent. That was an awful accent. That was just. Yeah, okay, that, that didn't. None of that worked as I was hoping it would. To be perfectly honest, that was. That was not. That was not the intended uh, outcome. So this is. This is probably going to go. Are you one of the bad people? Yes, you are. Okay, that didn't even. Didn't even. Didn't even... Okay, this has got... Okay, we need to try this again, actually. Yes. Okay, better upstairs here. Which is, yeah. That guy got himself shivved. You got yourself axed. And nobody actually, yeah, fired a gun. But I'm guessing the smoke bomb's going to go off anyway. No, it's not. That's only if they don't know what's going on. Okay, go! Right, you're a little bit on fire, by the way. And they have to pass by the upstairs... In order to get up to us. So therefore. What we're going to do. Is we're just going to lay a nice proximity miner. Right there. Okay you've dropped some ammo. That's good. Got a bomb on the steps. They have to come upstairs. They can't not. Alright I see him over there. And the problem we've got here is. Okay wait and. Oh! Okay you're going to. Gosh flipping. Darn helmets. Alright, you know where I am now. You saw me come up here. So therefore, you know what you need to do next. You need to, yep, there you go. You need to run straight into a bomb, you stupid dick. Right, that gets me a little bit more shotgun. Which is good. And you're going to be... Ow! Fudging hell, they do fire bloody quickly. Uh, okay. Are you behind that door? You're behind that door right over there. Because if you are, I think you're about to be on fire, my good friend. Are you on fire? You better be on fire. 
Pretty sure he's on fire. I'd rather use up the, uh, the tools than the All ammo. Right. House is clear. All right, good. And we get ourselves get a bit of ammo horses. for that. Okay, time for us to GTFO. And that is plenty of pistol ammo. Okay, now that, that works for me. Uh, swap out El Diablo for standard pistol. It's not great, but at least, you know, I pull the trigger and bullets come out, which is better than most of my guns right now. And yeah, I feel like me and Ellie haven't really, uh, figured out our differences yet. Also, glad I checked here. Another 10 pills and another bloody bathroom. Yeah, Ellie. I'm really sorry. I feel very bad about what I'm saying. I'm being a very mean, grumpy murder dad right now. But Ellie, in my heart, I will always be your grumpy murder dad, no matter what Joel says out loud in the game. We're clear. I love how I've got the shotgun out in the cutscene, but I know for a fact it doesn't have any ammo in it. This is just for show. You want a hand up? I got it. I was very rude to Ellie. Alright, she's lost to everybody. Loss is not just a me thing. I've been very selfish here. <sighs> There she is. Kids will be watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. Go big horns. <laughs> Ellie, get off your horse. Give it on back to Tommy. I'm gonna hang on to this fella. That's all right with you. Oh, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. <laughs> I don't want her coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror. You can't miss it. Care of that wife of yours. There's a place for you here. You know? You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. Aw, feels like we made a bit of peace with Tommy there. And hopefully, Ellie will forgive me for being a grumpy murder dad. If I'm very lucky indeed, and. All right, we're just going to teleport to the uni. The ball to the other team. Right, it's called turnover. And if you clear the 10 yards, then you're back at first down? First down, that's right. Man, that's confusing. <laughs> you just got to play it a couple of times. It all makes sense. All right, so we're just here. I don't actually know, like, uh, how far the University of Eastern Colorado is from that dam in Jackson County. Whether this was, like, you know, a day or not. But it hasn't said winter, dramatically. So I'm going to work under the assumption that it was uh, like that. Also, I'm going to work under the assumption they're going to be all dead and this isn't going to work out. Because the game obviously is going to do another dramatic transition to winter. Where it's going to say winter and it's going to be cold and there's going to be a howling ice storm. Well, I have to make harrowing choices and gun people down and probably die horribly. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling like uh, this ain't gonna be it. It ain't gonna fly. But apparently I can get off my horse. So that's nice. Uh, so okay, before we go inside, let me just scout out the uh, the surrounding area for a few, like, you know, bits of resources and whatnot. Just double check whether there's anything else going on here. And uh, there's another way in. Okay, this area is uh, 
to be honest, worryingly wide open. That that concerns me a bit. If they had a sign slap here, you'd think they'd be, you know, guarding it in some way. For a proper lab, they'd need uh, power. They'd need plenty of people. They'd need fresh resources. They'd need supplies and chemicals and whatnot. So, uh, all right. Stay, Callis. Okay. What kind of name is Callis anyway? It's not my fault you forgot to ask Tommy his name. <laughs> Callus. Ah, by any Who's chance is uh is Callus the name of one of the characters in your comic book? Because I haven't been reading all of the descriptions, but if I had to put a guess in, I'm gonna say yes. Or it could be the ship. It could be the ship in the comic book, because you know this is my method of transportation and whatnot. Okay, none of these buildings look like a mirror to me. Well, we're headed to central grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. Or we could read the flipping sign. Because it very clearly says, straight on, Science Center. Which is going to be, you know, the building that we want. So, uh, actually, we've very hard. Yes, we've seen Ellie reading. Somebody taught her how to read. All right, education hasn't completely fallen apart in this uh, day and age. So, uh, keep on keeping on. Follow the signs. Keep an eye on uh, Science Building. That's going to be the important one. And keep your eye out for sparkles, because I'm guessing I don't have any more ammo yet. So, uh, I really hope there's a quiet, sneaky bit. Before we get into more murder bits. Like, you know, a nice looting bit. That'd be... Ooh, that looks like a nice looting bit right over there. So, these places. People would live here and just study? Even though they were all grown up? Yeah, study. Party. And find themselves. Figure out what they wanted to do with their lives. What they wanted to do with their lives. Aww. I like how that's, well, I don't like how that's, but like, you know, I think it's a really cute touch how that's kind of like an alien concept to, to Ellie. I'll the idea of Alice. figuring out what you want to do with your life. That's, you know, not something she's ever really considered. Hello, sexy. Is that a flamethrower? I think it cocking is. Oh, oh, all my Christmases have come early. Okay, machete, don't need that. Ten parts, very, very useful indeed. Would like some more ammo. That's just pills. Should check on the pills soon. I've been collecting a few of them, so I should be okay. Real lack of ammo for the time being. I mean, we did see way back in the day, long ago, the game said, yeah, set them on fire. That the uh, infected were weak to fire. So, uh, yes, that would be... Uh, That'd be rather useful. Just one little bit of fire. They might be running off to potentially set their own friends on fire too. Okay, what have we got here? What have we got? Because obviously I'm going straight over to uh, to Flamethrower. And uh, range or power. Okay, not many weapons actually have like power on them. To be perfectly honest. Like, you don't see that very often. I mean, go on. Sure, why not? Reload speed. Yeah, make it happen. Because uh, we're going to be relying on this thing for the time being. Purely because uh, we don't have much else. Though, just give me one second. There's some stairs over here, Ellie. I will be back as soon as I'm done with the looting. Oh, here we go. There was that a is out here. a tiny bit of ammo. A good sign. Yeah, but is it really? Because if there was a lookout, but now there isn't. That's, that's not so good. What's the deal? Snipers. Ah, not just a lookout. Flipping sniper. Still, got the right place here. Mention of the science lab, but uh, new recruits from Chicago quarantine zone in. Okay, so recording people as they come in and out, but like it goes two weeks to time without anything happening. Nothing too dramatic. The odd scientist comes in, the odd bit of equipment comes in, they go on scavenging runs. But towards the end of June, so yeah, presumably a few months ago, things started uh, happening. Which is a whole bunch of veterans headed out to the Boston QZ. Doctors left. Recruits left. And yeah, there was talk of scouting, but no one knew what they were scouting for. Then we had ourselves big truck in, personnel carrier in, veterans, recruits, lots of drivers. Okay. The lookout didn't know what was going on, and that was in August. Now we're in fall right now, so that was still a few months ago. Some form of commotion happened here. Nobody seems to know uh, what it is, precisely. Okay, get my... Uh, oh, hang on. No. Get one Molotov. Those are pretty good. Can we actually do... No, we don't have enough spiky to make a bomb, sadly. Still, do I have just enough to max out my health, which would not be the worst thing in the world? Uh, and, okay. 
What else do we have? No. Let's max out health. Maxing out health, not a bad idea. Now that has got to be pretty positive. No, don't set that on fire, Joel. Put it away. Also, we never actually specifically asked why, uh, yeah, Tommy left the fireflies. All right, there. Hmm. Not 100% to be trusted yet. No one's to be 100% trusted. That note gives me the feeling, yeah, something... Something suspicious is going on here. Oh, Don't take this all at face value yet. I mean, it could just be they're all just dead. They might just already have been uh, taken out by uh, raiders. Could have been betrayed from within. Any number of things could happen. So uh, just get over that. Keep your eye out for supplies. Uh, and look for a big-ass giant mirror. Alright. Into the centre of town here. No sign of trouble. So just keep on keeping on. And by keep on keeping on, I mean keep on flipping looting. How many people do you think are there? Of fireflies, I mean. I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. Do you think there'll be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. I like how she's just riding the horse in sight. <laughs> this is, Ellie, this... This isn't what you normally do. This is this is not traditional horse etiquette. Normally the horses don't come inside, but whatever. Uh, okay, sorry. This might be the way we're actually supposed to go, ultimately. In which case, I'll uh, I'll come back here in a moment. Yeah, looks like the only way to go to me. Everything else is barricaded up. So, okay, that's not the science building, but it's the only way through regardless. I'm gonna be honest, Joel. I feel like you could very easily climb over that. Like, I appreciate the spikes, but like, you know... They're fairly far apart. There's a thing you could step on. You could very easily... Joel gives up very easily in the face of uh, spikes. And I'm guessing that building over there with the silvery roof, that's my target. Still, they were supposed to be guarding this place. They were supposed to be lookouts and snipers. So, uh, where are they? What happened to them? Because I'm a little bit worried about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. <laughs> yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, we got trouble as needs taken care of. Got it. Runners. Oh, okay. So, four of those lads just don't care whether you actually, you know, really uh, see them or not. Very this but, time. two, we need to be careful with. And I'm guessing this note's going to say, Hey, go to the thing and, like, pull the panel and diddly diddly d. So, uh, rig up the door to the generator upstairs, uh, use it sparingly, uh, gas is low. Alright, so, we just need to take out the, yeah, the three or two or however many it is that are actually on the move. Uh, once we've taken care of them, uh, the others we can just strangle because they literally don't care what happens to them as long as you don't make a noise. So we have to shiv the moving lads. That's, that's it. Just the moving lads need to be shivved. All right, shouldn't be too difficult to do. Those are runners, not stalkers, so their movement is not that fast, not that erratic. Start up top. Let's scout them out here. Need to figure out who's where. And yeah, if I can take out just like the little guys, it kind of doesn't matter. They don't seem to respond if they see if they see the corpses of their friends or not. Do I have a throw, by the way? No, I do not. Marvelous. Right, stay hidden. Stay down. Stay out of the way. We just need to take you down. Then the others are not a problem. So we just need to wait for the right moment to... Sorry, I didn't realise you were right there. Let's let's try that again. Okay, head in the front way. I see you over there. The problem is that's a long way to go. And they do kind of like, you know, shudder around, turn around, diddly diddly day. That's not so bad. Stay crouched. Those guys won't see anything. So we've just got to get round the back of of you. But that's... Oh, if he turns around, I'm screwed. Yeah, because they sort of... They flicker. It's very difficult because of how much they judder. And come on, 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 come on. And does your other friend see that? Okay, then the other one sees that. So this is... No, you can't take him out here because the other one sees that. Then it's a fight. What we've got to do is capture this one here. Okay, because here, this one's isolated, and the other one's over there. 
Then we just need to get on the other one, and then it shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a case of getting one and then the other of the ones that are actually on the move. As long as you just get the ones on the move, that's it. That's all you need to do. The rest of them literally just strangle them one by one. Doesn't matter. So you're about to walk through over there. And then please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Grab you. Strangle. And the rest don't care. Job done. Then we just take them down because we know generators make noise. So, okay. That's actually pretty simple as long as you... Oh! This person just randomly had 50... Uh, 50 flamethrower on them. That's pretty good, you know. And yeah, now we just own. They're kind of positioned a bit awkwardly, to be perfectly honest. Uh, that's... Okay, well, we can get around the back of you by just hopping over... Hopping over that and then grab. And then strangle. Possibly we can't do that to all of them. I don't know whether, yeah, they're kind of with their backs to the walls, which is not good. So I see you there, you there. Yeah, you guys have all got your backs to the walls, which means it's kind of tricky to to do the thing I want to do, which is grab ya and then shiv or strangle ya. Alright, well, I think we can get pretty close to these guys. Is there anything I can do? Bloody hell, why are you standing with your backs to the wall? Oh, no, I can just grab them. Okay, well, that's that's fine then. Okay, nice and simple. And they're dropping so much flamethrower ammo. Okay, I'm just swimming in flamethrower ammo for no good reason. And I love it. So you, grab you, drop you. If you'd just like to drop some flamethrower ammunition for no good reason, I'd really appreciate that too. That'd be great. And then last one. Grab and down, Marvel. And we know it's the last one because you decide to stamp on her for some reason. Lovely. Alright, job done. Nice and simple as long as you do it in the right order. So that means none of them are going to come and investigate this. So one simple tap the button puzzle. And job done. Lovely. I was thinking I would have wanted to be an astronaut. That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just saying. Oh, Ellie, you would have made a great astronaut. I'm going to open that door in a second, though. I didn't realise there were some steps over here. So you're just going to go loot this side too. Five pills, nothing major. What's really important is, uh, yeah, this thing is now up to a hell of a lot of flames. And there we go. Moving forward. Beautiful. Well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. <laughs> Shut up. I'm no, serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, please. Do it, Joel. Joel. Joel, do it. Come on, grumpy murder dad, do it. Also, don't forget the sparkles over there. Okay, if we're lucky, maybe Joel will do some singing in a bit. If we're very lucky, perhaps we'll sing Skater Boy. Okay, library, check for sparkles, and just, you know, be aware. We now know there's bad stuff in this part of the world. Okay, hang on. Check the sign. Yep, science lab over in that direction. Thought so. It's the big building with the curvy roof. But just, you know, check for uh, anything else around here. Never let anywhere go completely unlooted. I mean, you can sort of tell, because the AI sort of directs itself in the right direction, and then just sort of points in that direction, and follows you if you're going in the right direction. Then the moment you stop going in the right direction, they just sort of stop. So you can tell because then he follows you in that direction, that's the way to go. Because the AI just sort of magically knows, via magnets, which way the right way is. And... Oh, that's a Doom Arena. Alright, that's a cocky Doom Arena, if ever I've seen one. Alright, before the Doom Arena, continue the looting. There's blatantly something over here. Bunch of parts, bunch of pills, nothing that's immediately actionable. Firefly Pendant, that's okay at least. Okay, Ellie, we're going into some, uh, some bad stuff here. On the horse, we're doing a horseback fight of some description. This is... Aww, are those monkeys? Uh oh Yeah, a whole mess of them. Okay. 
maybe if we're lucky, we're doing the adorable monkey section. Not the, you know, giant boss fight. Something just chased off the monkeys. It might have been me, admittedly. But, you know, I'm a little bit on the concern side. Yeah, science lab more in that direction. Probably that big building over there. But, this here stadium is partially open. Take the horse in that direction. Just, you know, check out the stadium while we're passing by. Ellie probably wants to talk about it. And, like, you know, professional sports oh, and diddly awesome. diddly day. Well, first time seeing a monkey? First time seeing a monkey. Okay, she was more impressed with the, uh, the monkeys, as it turns out. Yeah, this building's open, but not properly open. I'm a little bit suspicious of the whole situation, to be clear. Okay, this is the main hall, suggesting that's not where we want to go. We want to go in that direction, so... Have you seen someone by now? Maybe these guys like to keep a low profile. Yeah, maybe. We've already seen the abandoned sniper's nest, Joel. Come on, put two and two together. Something ain't right here. All right, that just leads around to this area. Just check the rest of it. Still, no Doom Arena yet. That's nice. Joel, look. Oh, what? What'd you say? I see it. This is good. First sign of fireflies. Is that graffiti? Yes, graffiti. I see it. Okay, so hang on, check the sign here. Science lab is this way, but it's been barricaded, so we just need to keep going a slightly longer way around. This area's been a bit suspiciously quiet so far. Let's try that gate. I'm guessing we ain't got nothing here. We're gonna have to cut through the uh, the dorms. This isn't gonna work. Not a chance. There it is. Generator. Or the building. I was looking at the generator, but whatever. And this won't budge. yeah, but you could squeeze through. Just, just go through. Just, just squeeze through. There's another generator. Ellie, you could fit through. Uh, so close. Ellie, just, just squeeze through. Just, just go through, Ellie. You can do this. There's also a thing we want to talk about but can't over there. So looks oh. like they rigged this up as well. What is that? Disconnected wire or something. Right, you stay here and watch the horse. Why you watch the horse? Sorry, I'm just getting antsy. We watch could yourself. just like let her go through the thing. I feel like letting her go through the thing would be fine. She could totally squeeze through all of these gates. Ah, campus map though. So okay, getting slammed here must beef up the barricades. Right, so this is definitely a post-apocalypse map. Gotcha. Okay, so far no sign of trouble, but come on. This looks like a trouble sort of a place to me. Any chance of a shiv room? I enjoy a shiv room. Shiv rooms are great. Well, I won't say no to some supplies. So we got a corridor and a kind of parallel corridor I can walk down. Yeah, there's going to be trouble here sooner or later. Stabby, I do need stabby. Stabby is good. Damn it, spores. Oh, spores. Okay, just... Be aware, we're heading into bad stuff here. If we're seeing spores, that means they're somewhere. And what else can we make here? Bomb or... Yeah, bomb. Make a bomb. Bombs are good fallbacks. We need more alcohol at some point. Okay. So. So... Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this one little flipping bit. Okay. So, how much are we, uh, how much are we dealing with here? It looks like, oh, hang on, this is nothing but clickers. If it's nothing but clickers, I'm going to take that as a massive win. That's a huge, huge win. Because then if we just move slow, it ain't a problem. Problem is, I don't know where I am or where I'm supposed to be going, so let's just... Let's just explore a bit, keep it nice and slow, and try and find the exits. No point fighting these guys. Just keep your distance, move nice and slow, figure out what's where, don't need that. Yeah, just keep on keeping on. Just move in the right direction and try not to get boxed in by them, because if they just like walk into you, that's going to be a problem. But if you just keep your distance and go slow, there ain't nothing they can do. And that's... You're a bloater. 
Are you a bloater? Okay, hang on, I just need to check. Are bloaters blind? Because, logically, they would be. That makes sense, that a bloater would be blind. Because they're, like, more advanced. Yeah, bloaters are blind. Okay. Well, then we don't need to fight them. Why would I waste the ammo? Alright, why would I ever waste the ammo fighting something as can't see me? This is nothing but blind stuff in here. Oh, there's going to be a generator you need me to turn on, isn't there? There's always going to be a cocky generator. Of course there is. Well, that was like the exit over there past the bloater. I mean, I may as well just check what else we got going on in this part of the world. That's just throwables. Is there anything, like, worth grabbing? I mean, I need the ammo, to be honest. Yeah, take everything I've got. Never verified whether bows and arrows are silent. Gonna guess they are. And yeah, just watch out for the, the sparkle. Maybe don't bother any further. Maybe that's enough. Maybe we're good. Maybe that's... Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's enough. Time for me to go. But I'm gonna... Uh-oh. Yep, you just stay exactly where you are. That's cool. I ain't got a problem with that. You stay where you are. I'm just going to go bloody hell. That was scary. Okay, everything's fine. Everything is fine. We don't need to fight you. Why would I bother fighting you? What's the point? No point at all. Just sneak past. That doesn't look like an electronically locked door to me. So what we do is we just go straight on past. No trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be trouble. Okay, trouble. Trouble. Got it. Got it. Faster, 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 faster. Joel, go! Okay. Hopefully, they can't get through doors, right? Okay. Um, we might want to, we might want to go at this point. You know what? I'll, I'll take it. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just, let's just be on our merry way. Oh, back outside. I love being back outside. Okay, made it back outside. No trouble whatsoever. We are good. Okay, so nothing too dangerous in the university so far. Manageable, but then, you know, I'm figuring out how the world uh, fits together at this point. Now, you need me to plug this in first, right? And, ah! No, you need me to literally move the generator. This was a movable generator because you used it for all sorts of stuff. Okay, I see. I see what's going on here. That's a-okay. Right, let's try the gate. <laughs> you did it! Yeah, get all through. Alright, nice and simple so far. Good. Get up on the horse. Those clickers. You think they were fireflies? No. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Why would they have infected so close to the lab? Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. That looks like it. Right over there. Science building. We have flipping made it, though. Yeah. Is it still actually held by the fireflies? That's... That's the big question, isn't it? Because where the hell are they? Where are their defences? Where are their people? Where's... No guards. No, nothing. Yeah, anything. Yeah, I'd expect to see someone by now. Let's get inside. Alright. Any supplies? No, that's... Oh, hang on, yes. Off the horse. Hang on, just need to go looting. Desperately need booze. It's not a problem, I just needed to make Molotov cocktails. Have you ever been to one of these? What, university? Yeah. <laughs> no, not as a student, at least. Why not? Uh, I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Hmm. Were you married? For a while. What happened? Okay. Too much? Too much. Yeah. I'm not sure we've ever seen any indication what happened, whether it was divorce or she died under some circumstances. I don't think I saw any evidence in the house at the beginning of, yeah, Sarah having any relationship with her mother, suggesting that, yeah, she wasn't still involved in her life in any way. So, whatever that means, 
Not sure. By the way, I am fully aware that you can just hold down triangle to loot all that's in range. But I prefer tapping it because I like Joel's little looting dance. Joel's looting dance is great. Like, you know, when you find a bunch of little stuff, just making him go like, yeah, there you go. The looting dance. It's adorable. Okay. Front door is barricaded to a hell. We still need to find a better way round. Keep on keeping on. I was just over in this direction. So, yeah, round over to here. What are we looking for? Where's the way in? And many chances is that going to be? Nope, that's not a parking garage or anything. All right, well, this is hey, looking good. Over there. You're not wrong. Yeah, light. Like way in. There's actually light there. Okay. This is promising. I mean, admittedly, solar power would be, yeah, mostly automated, but it'll flip and do. Yeah, it's rusted shut. We'll have to find another way. Okay. Maybe we can get over it. Okay, when you say over, how would we get over? Like, say, pushing this car if it was in neutral? No, apparently not. Oh, it's my old friend, the green wheelie bin. I love the green wheelie bin. Everybody loves green wheelie bin. Okay, didn't mean to do it that way, but that um sort of works. Right, not what I had in mind, but it'll do. Okay, that's a fun little subversion of what I was expecting. I enjoyed that. Well done, game. Oh, and better and better news, just in case there's a water section, Ellie, it's your favourite thing in the world, a wooden pallet. Two of them, in fact. I could carry two Ellie's. Right. Up. Up onto lorry. Up onto thing. We've got power. But, uh, what that really means, grand scheme of things. Oh. All right, we're inside. What we got? Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. We have made around. it to the science center. But the question is, what's what's going on here? Because it's very, very empty. Yeah, and he's not wrong. There seems to be nobody here. And there's something very, very wrong here. I feel like these fireflies are long dead. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. We have made some excellent progress today. We found Tommy, had a bit of an argument with him, had a bit of an argument with Ellie, but we have made up with both of them. And now Grumpy Murder Dad and his totally, completely, legitimately adopted daughter have made it to the science center. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, I ain't holding out too much hope for a glorious scientific community that's going to take a sample of her blood. And, like, save everybody. I'm not feeling like that's where we're going with this uh, at all. So, uh, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will discover precisely how everything went horribly, horribly wrong inside this lab. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been The Last of Us. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So, apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we- Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.